Um, Staff Sergeant Mark, I'm a Special Warfare Airman, currently stationed at Osan Air Base, South Korea. Chief Ken, and I'm a Special Warfare Operator, and I'm out of the Herbert Field area, which is in the Destin, Pensacola area. So within the Air Force, you have Special Warfare uh, is the big umbrella, and I am a combat controller by trade. As a TACP, our jobs primarily is to coordinate and be the link between the ground troops and the aerial assets. And that's one portion of it. And then the second portion of our job is strike, precision strike. When I did go to the Air Force recruiter and he mentioned TACP, it sounded like the best of the best. The training for our job is very difficult. I went through the TACP schoolhouse. We started with 60 people and I was one of the 12 to graduate my class. So once you get to your unit, it's a continuous grind of improving yourself and your skills as a warfighter and an operator and a special warfare airman. In the Air Force, because we integrate within all the soft entities, we get to experience all the mission sets. Get started. All right, you guys call it the DT in honor of Staff Sergeant Tim Davis. 12 deadlift, nine hang cleans, and six push press. But you're gonna do that five times through, so it got less easy when right. I said that. All right, it's for time. Winner gets nothing. Having Dustin is gonna be pretty motivating, and I'll, I'll do better than normal. Dustin the Diamond Today, Forrest Griffin led the workout, and we're working out with two uh, US Air Force airmen, and uh, they pushed a hard pace. Good start. It's a lot of weight to start with, but. Us as Special Warfare Airmen, we're always trying to compete. Right. We're always trying to be the best. And to have Dustin here working out with us certainly made me push the pace, and I certainly was trying to beat him. Woo! Ah, just missed the Olympics over there. That was nice. Foot straddle, the whole deal. The pain that we endure in this is nothing compared to the, the pain of the loss of the teammate that we're remembering. So this is it, last one. Last one. The oldest man's finishing first. <laughs> you always want to push yourself to that threshold because your enemy's always training and always preparing in the environment that you're going to be going to, that you're not going to be familiar with. So the harder you push yourself in the gym, the more prepared you are for what you're going to face. And I would assume the uh, same holds true for the fighters. The more blood, sweat, and tears that they, they put in the gym, the, the, less, uh, the less they have to put in on the uh, octagon at the end of the day. Ah! All right, all right. I'm, I'm sweating from their work. They're working so hard, I'm sweating. We're all done, that was it. You guys all finished around the same time. It's pretty impressive. 12 minutes and 20 seconds of work. You know, I was expecting it to be tough and them to push, but and that's exactly what they did. It was, uh, like I said, tough to keep up with them. But fun, I'm glad we did it. You know, I have a lot of respect for these guys. Well, I would've went slower if he wasn't killing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would've went slower if they both were. He was, he was actually so fast, I thought he was behind a round. He motivated us through it. <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to achieve greatness without his inspiration <laughs> and warm-up.